it's uh, quite the slog to get out here, I'll tell you that. The snowmobilers did beat the trail down a little bit, the main trail, but coming in here, ooh, even in four wheel drive, she was having a tough time getting out of here. Tomorrow's gonna be interesting, no doubt. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's get on over here. Won't be much of a walk around the campground today, kids. There's several sites. There's like nine, I think. I'm in number seven. And there it is. It's the river. So we made her. It's gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna get everything set up. We're here for the night, no doubt. There ain't no getting out of here right now. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's get set up. guys oh made her <laughs> this is the sturgeon river wilderness this is the campground they got out here man i'm gonna tell you getting in here on that snowmobile trail not easy they do not plow the road so it's just snowmobiles that's it i drove in on that beat down path and uh, i'm gonna tell you i don't recommend it uh four wheel drive for me in the beast and the beast has got a high clearance so it's a it's just what it is it's a beast so i got her in here that snow is deep. Uh, never lost grip. Never had a real worry too much. Uh, heading out is probably going to be the problem because I got to go uphill about four miles and I got to make sure no snowmobiles are coming because I'm going to have to give her. So I'm going to have to get out of here early. Uh, yeah, we're here. We're set up. This place is gorgeous. Uh, now that I got this all warmed up, it's only six degrees outside. It's supposed to get really, really cold tonight. So, uh, yeah. We're going to have to keep the fire going. I bought firewood. I wanted to make sure I'd kill them dry. I didn't want to take any chances out here. And it's a good thing I did because there's nothing to pick. The uh, campers and overlanders that use this area picked her clean. I'll talk more about it in a little while about the uh, things you can do out here. This is a beautiful place. You can look it up online. It's the Sturgeon River Wilderness. Man, this campground is amazing. Uh, if you're going to come out here in the winter, I recommend you do it on a sled. Or have very high clearance for wood drive and uh don't get stuck <laughs> let's go out and take a look Told you, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. Quiet too. 14 miles back in the sticks. It's uh, 10 miles and then there's a split. That wasn't too bad to get on, but that last four miles, it's all downhill, which of course didn't worry me too much. Just the snowmobiles. You gotta worry about them coming around corners on you. They, them boys flying and things and they shouldn't, but they do. And I'm afraid I don't wanna whack one and that's for sure. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I just wanna get out there and have a good time like everybody else, right? So that's why I'm gonna go out early in the morning. Let them guys drink. Look at this. Man, is that beautiful. Wow. Anyways, this campground, it's pretty big. It's got nine spots. Uh, you can't really see them all. They're kind of buried. You see a picnic table back there. It's all buried in snow. Here's where I come in. Yeah, I had to give her to get in here. That's all right. We're here. We're going to have a good time. We've already got the, uh, the water set up winter wells just to crank it so for the next few hours while that beautiful sun sets we're gonna just relax then yeah, we're gonna have some outside fire wind or no wind you know i love good outside fire <laughs>
for that wind howling through the trees. I love that sound. I'm sure y'all do too. There's nothing like the sound of winds or cedar banks. Those puppies are absolutely gorgeous. It's freezing cold outside. I mean cold. That's what we like though. We don't let anything deter us, do we? We like what we like. That's camping. And it don't matter. It'll be cold. It's fine. We can live with it. I wanted to talk to you about this place. The Sturgeon River Wilderness Area. This is the campground. It's free. Another one of those free campgrounds I told you I'd show you. There's several others I was wanting to get to, but I'm not going to be able to get to them this year, it looks like. At least not now. Uh, ice fishing's starting. The ice is getting pretty thick now. A lot of the lakes got anywhere between 10 and 12 inches, but after this next few days here, oh yeah, there'll be a lot more than that, which is good. We need to get out there. I want to get out and do some ice fishing. Uh, I bought this here for multi-use. Yeah, ice fishing and winter camping because I love it. Now we got to seriously focus on ice fishing. The next, uh, uh, the next one. Got a couple lakes I've been eyeballing. I'm gonna give it a shot. But this area here, a lot of people camp at this free campground they set up. They bring their four wheelers, and they bring their side by sides. And there is just this road. It's 2200. It goes all the way. I mean, there's just I don't know 20, 30 miles of road, dirt road, and uh, there's a beautiful hike up the road at the gorge zigzags down I mean it's steep too that's something that should be on your bucket list for the summertime it's beautiful down there it's a waterfall that's just spectacular and then there's uh, on top you can take a little walk along and there's a picnic table it overlooks everything straight drop I mean just wow it opens right up it just you could have lunch there wow you need to check that out but uh, there's sand there's off roads where there's sand and that's what the guys do they come up here at the side by side the four wheelers and they just have a blast up here with the whole family set up camp here go out have a blast come on back and uh yeah it's first come first serve so another one of those free hot spots this is it there's several others there's king lake down the road on this way there's uh sparrow rapids waterfall and it's not spectacular but it's a free campground and it's a nice campground it's clean and then there's uh, Maximity Falls, which I was at earlier this year. Uh, yeah, they're all free campgrounds. First come, first serve, get in there, get your sight, and enjoy the outdoors. That's what it's all about. But I wanted to show you some of these campgrounds. This one here was really tough to get into. Like I said, I don't recommend coming in here unless you're coming in on a sled. It's pretty hectic. I gotta go full bore, four miles up. So we'll see if I don't drop it, but that's all right. I got a winch, if I do, I'll drag it out. But Hoping not to have to. <laughs> uh, almost time to get to cooking some sausage. Uh, well, guys, starting to get late. I guess uh, we should probably get to cooking, huh? Gonna have something simple tonight, some sausages, some stuffed mushrooms, which I'm gonna bake in our little oven here. And a couple of these. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Yeah, I reckon we should get started cooking. one thing if that's the only thing I forgot I was in great shape so yeah we can use a couple of pieces of bacon here that's what we're gonna do cut us up some bacon here and we'll use that the oil beneath our pan oh yeah a couple of strips of bacon in there 
Bacon goes good with everything, right? Second rule in the snow, right? One more piece. Just get this out of the bacon. Put that in there. Alright. Let's get that on. Get on our stove. Get it nice and hot. And then we'll move on to the next thing, right? Huh? Yeah. Let's do that first. Too, as I was telling you about saying, I'm scraping those. I also got a new pan. It's one of them big old, uh, it's not cast, it's cast but not quite cast. One of them fancy pans, I wouldn't cut me one of those. Because the other one is just for the house and the bird didn't like me using it too much. Right. Now we've got that fat in there. Now we get that nice, big, thick sausage in there. These ones here, these are pepper jack cheese sausages. Local grocery store makes them. Angelis Foods, Iron River. Get one of them off in there. Yeah. What? <laughs> Let's do that. Let's get that. That makes it. Mm. It's not the pepper jack bacon. Yeah. yeah, I really like these tiki tools. These tiki wood tools are nice. Big sauce in there. Fantastic. No fancy onion cut. Not when it comes to sausage. Just throw it on in there and bust it up. Oh yeah, with that bacon. Oh, that's gonna be good. It smells good. Yeah, actually. But bacon makes everything smell good. It tastes good at least. No scraping noise. It was driving me nuts in my other video with that scraping. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Along with my overexcitement cooking, <laughs> it made me crazy too. But we were breaking her all in and getting her. Now we're old hat with this old tent now. Many times. We're going to have many, many more. Nice fishing coming up. Oh, man, that's fun. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Let's get you down here and have a look at that.
nine ounce oil. I'll bring it back. little snow make that clean up a breeze. Let's get us some portobello's on, shall we? Oh, look at that. Stuck portobello mushrooms. Oh, you know, we gotta have some of those. Stick them out there a little over there. Three twenty five. Perfect. made bakery buns could have one got cheap ones but i don't like them i mean i do it for regular hot dogs but something like this you want a big old bright home you want a big old bun one of them you got to cut buns you get more in them you can always stuff them you load them up a little sub buns i guess that's what you call it Need this big old hoagie bun. So, yeah. Let's get this bad boy loaded up. It's getting slicker and slower in here as it's melting away. Yeah, see what I mean? When it comes to bright, we want big old buns. I call them sub buns. So that works perfectly. Check out the more bellas. Oh, they're so pretty. Let's try one. Really good. Am I right? Time to eat it up. <laughs> I think it's time to say goodnight. Nice and warm in here. Oh, is it warm? That wind is howling out there, something big time. I can hear it. I can also hear the little waterfall. Beautiful. What a way to go to bed. All right, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Three bundles of wood. Try and keep.
keep it warm. It's nice and warm in here still now, but every couple hours I had to get a beer because that wind, that wind was just howling through here. Shook this thing a few times, but like I said, there ain't nothing gonna knock this thing over. These hubs are not that easy to push in, believe me. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to make some breakfast. Maybe we'll start with some coffee. Yeah, I think that's what we need.
6 30 in the morning wow i'm gonna get to it whoa that was a scary ride i made her out of there back to the main road now one more hour i didn't ever got out uh headed in once just dropped her popped right out thank the lord and he's definitely guided me on this one 14 miles four straight up that telling you that was bad <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I'm stubborn, ain't I? I got her done. All right, now it's time to take her to the house. I'm gonna tell you, no more camping like that for a while, right? <laughs> now it's time for ice fishing. And that's a good thing. All right, y'all, thanks for watching this one. That was a scary ride. Wish you could've been there. You needed a little uh, tube of uh, pucker tight for that one. <laughs> All right, love y'all. Be good.